Well, tonight is National Night Out, an event that aims to build community and police relationships. And there's a gathering going on right now in Mountain View, which is where we find Anchorage Police Chief Dust Justin Dahl. Chief, thanks so much for talking with us tonight. What are your officers doing out there? Well, thanks for having me. You know, uh, we have a lot of officers out here tonight and a lot of other volunteers. And uh, we're just supporting the National Night Out event. And really what the officers are doing is just... Uh, spending time with residents from the Mountain View community and from all over town and uh, and just taking some time to uh, basically do some recreation events and uh, and just have a, an opportunity to interface with them in a non-enforcement way. Chief, how do you think the public views Anchorage Police and what do you want to change? You know, I think the Anchorage Police Department is tremendously fortunate that um, we have wide-ranging community support. Uh, almost every place I go, I hear from residents of Anchorage um, how much they appreciate the police department and the work that it does and, uh, and how much they really support us. Um, when I think about what I want to change, what I'd really like is to have uh, all of our officers have more time and more ability to do what we're doing tonight, which is really engage with the public, like I said, in a non-enforcement way. So what that means for patrol is spending time in neighborhoods and, uh, and having an opportunity to talk to residents, um, even when they're not necessarily on a call for service, and hear what their concerns are and really get to know them and, and, uh, and what they'd like to see us doing in their various neighborhoods. So, Chief, you've been on the job just a month now. How's it going? Is it more challenging than you expected? You know, it's going really good. Thanks for asking. Uh, I think that uh, I think we definitely have some opportunities, but, you know, I've spent uh, a fair amount of time at the Anchorage Police Department already and uh, and had some opportunity to, to grow and develop as a commander. So I don't think there have been too many surprises yet, but uh, it's been good. I'm, I'm having a good time. So what is your vision as chief and what's your vision for public safety here in Anchorage? You know, there's a couple things we'd like to focus on. And like I mentioned before, um, I really want to have the patrol division structured in a way that officers have time to spend uh, in neighborhoods um, doing non-enforcement activities, getting to know the residents. I'd really like to see us have officers be a little bit more geographically assigned so they're uh, more stable in their beats, get to know the, the people that live there and the businesses that operate there. Um, and I definitely want to have us uh, have a working group in the police department that's structured in a way that can really address uh, everything from some of the, uh, the neighborhood thefts that we're seeing um, up to stolen vehicles and some of the violent street crime. So kind of a, a street crime working group. And as we're settling out some of the, uh, the rest of the command assignments at APD, uh, we're working our way through some captain promotions to fill vacancies and looking for deputy chiefs, um, and that I hope to happen this month. But as, as those solidify, we're really wanting to talk about those plans and, and really get moving on some of that stuff. So under the last chief, Chief Tolley, the police scanners were turned off. They've been off for over a year now. Will you turn them back on? No, I don't think we're going to be turning those on anytime soon. Um, the main issue there is really, uh, it's a victim privacy issue that uh, is protected under Alaska statute. And also, um, the police department comes in contact with a lot of personally identifiable information uh, through just the normal course of business. And of course, um, that's discussed on the police radio all the time. So we really don't feel that we can use the system uh, for what it's designed to do, which is connect police officers with crime victims, but also protect those crime victims' privacy. So I really don't think that's something that we're going to be able to do. But we really do want to have... Um, better external communications. Uh, we have some new hires at the police department, a new communications director and deputy communications director. And uh, we're really, um, we're already working on ways to improve that external communication and kind of help fill the gap that maybe was left by the police radio being turned off. All right, Anchorage Police Chief Justin Dahl, thanks so much for chatting with us tonight.